Marza. I'm part of Paraland ISD's Link and Learn. I'm a fourth grade math teacher and I'm excited to review some concepts that you have learned this year in fourth grade. Getting you ready for the transition of fifth grade and middle school. Yay! This week we will be working on place value, whole numbers and decimals. So stay tuned. Alrighty, boys and girls, in this week's Pearland ISD Link and Learn for Math in fourth grade, we're going to be reviewing the place value, whole numbers and decimals, which is TEK 4.2b, representing the value of the digit of the whole numbers through 1 billion and decimals to the hundreds using expanded notation and numerals. Okay, before we get into that, I just wanted to make sure that we are good with understanding the relationship when we're putting our singing number and putting it in a place value chart and using concrete models, okay? So I wanna kinda just review that for just a minute. I already have something set up here and I have four and 52 hundredths, okay? If I was looking at this and I said, ooh, I have some money, $4.52, okay? So four is my whole. Five is like in the tenths, it's fifth, it's worth like 50 cents, it's not worth like, it's worth 50 cents. And then I have two, which is in the hundredths, which is two pennies, okay? So I already have it broken down in my place value chart. I have my ones, which is to the left of the decimal, that are all, those are gonna be all our whole numbers always. So then it would be the tens, the hundreds, and so on and so on. So ones is represented with just the one. Then we have our decimal point. Then we have the tenths column. So think of like 10 cents, a dime, okay? It's 0 0.1. Then we have our hundredths. We have 0 0.01, think of pennies, okay? You need 100 pennies to be one whole. You need 10 tenths to be one whole, one dollar, okay? So remember, everything to the right are gonna be parts of the whole and everything to the left are gonna be actual holes. So these people are trying to get to the holes, okay? So let's go ahead and show 4.2 as um, in relation to using concrete models, okay? So if I wanted to represent four, I need four ones. So here's my one, two, three, and four, okay? Four dollars, four holes, okay? I have tenths, how many tenths do I have? What is the value there? And that's five, okay? So not five cents, but it's five tenths, which would be, think of these as dimes. Here's one dime, 10. Here's a second dime, 20. Here's another dime, 30. Here's another dime, 40. And here's another dime, 50. So five tenths, which is 50 cents. Then we have our hundredths. We have two, two hundredths. The value is two cents. So think of these as pennies. We have one penny and another penny. Okay, that penny doesn't want to stay. Okay, woo, all righty, slipping and sliding. All right, there we go. Okay, so with expanded notation, all you're doing is using the concrete models that you just created and bringing it down and understanding what each relationship means or each value means, okay? So with expanded notation, I have how many ones? And when I use expanded notation, I use my parentheses. I have four and each value is one. So four holes, four times one. Plus I have tenths, I have five tenths. So it'd be five times 0 0.1 plus then I have two times 0 0.01, okay? So that is expanded notation. Another way you can represent this would be expanded form. So with expanded form, all you're doing is multiplying and you're taking the parentheses out. So for example, four times one is what? Four plus five times 0 0.1, which would be 0 0.5. 50 cents, okay? Plus two times 0 0.01 would be 0 0.02. So if I added those up, I would have 4.52, okay? 
So that is the recap there. Alrighty, boys and girls, to practice some more. I have created a place value chart, um, a resource that you can use, and it's uploaded onto the uh, practice it part of this link and learn. Um, you're gonna be able to use this. So if you do need a place value chart and you are struggling with what each value means or what each place value means, they ha I have it already structured for you. I also have a visual for you to see um, what that looks like in terms of money, okay? So I have my hundreds, okay? One thing I want us to make sure with our hundreds and the tenths and the hundreds, since this is new in fourth grade, and now next year you're gonna have the thousands. Um, I want us to make sure that you understand that that is, these are parts of a whole, okay? So we have our tenths represented as 0 0.1, also is one tenth, okay? Hundreds is 0 0.01, and that's one out of 100, okay? We have our decimal point, okay? And then we have all our holes, okay? So a way that I put for practice it, I have you that you can use um, dice, um, you can use number cards, um, you can use Uno cards or a deck of cards to create digits to practice this skill, okay? I want us to, um, I wanted to also make you aware of on uh, the practice part, I have attached um, numeral cards for you to use. So if you can't come up with any um, digits and you have a printer, you can print these out and just um, use those. I also have the place value chart there for you to use. I also have, if you're wanting to use and practice more of the concrete model, if you're not having that connection, and you're really needing to um, just want extra practice, I have created this for you also to use so that you can practice it just like I just did in that first part, okay? Then I also, which I think is very important, is our numerals in word form. Um, it's very important that you do know how to spell your numerals, especially as you're gonna be writing big checks later on in the future, right? <laughs> okay, so what I have, I found a big die and in one of my favorite colors, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and practice. Um, we'll practice and I'll probably just call out six digits, okay? So here, let me go with my first one. It's going to be two. So I said six digits, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's gonna be in the thousands, okay? So two, 2,541. And 50, ah, it fell on the floor, but I promise it was a three, 53 hundredths, okay? So the way that I say this is going to be 2,541 and 53 hundredths. Remember, remembering that we know how to, when we were saying the, this um, digit or this numeral, when we see a decimal, we're using the decimal and we're saying and, okay? So 2,541 and 53 hundredths. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite that numeral, 2,541 and 53 hundredths, okay? The way that that is represented as a fraction is everything to the left of my decimal is a whole number. So that stays the same, 2,541. And when we have 53, that is going to be um, our, decimal, our, our decimal, our parts of a whole, okay? So that is 53 hundredths. So the way that it sounds is exactly the way that we write it, 53 over 100, okay? 53 cents out of 100, okay? 2,501. 541 and 53 hundredths, okay? The way we write this in expanded notation, we're gonna break apart each of the numerals and we're gonna put it in its correct value, okay? Using our parentheses, okay? So we're gonna have two is in the thousands column. So we're gonna have our parentheses and we're gonna have our numeral two and that's gonna be times what? 1,000, that's the value, okay? So then we have five is in the hundreds. So we're gonna put plus five times 100. Plus four is in my tens, so four times 
10. Okay, plus one times one. Now I come to my, my tens and hundreds. So I'm gonna put plus five times, making sure the value is 0 0.1, plus, now I come to my hundreds, three plus 0 0.01, okay? That's the way it's represented in expanded notation. Now, because I have, uh, you know, I wanna make sure that we are uh, grasping all the concepts, I'm gonna put it in expanded form now. Okay, I'm gonna write right here, expanded form. And I feel like in fourth grade, they show more expanded form or we practice more expanded form in our math workbooks. But in reality of the test, they show more or have more questions using expanded notation. They wanna make sure that you're understanding or even as teachers wanna make sure you're understanding what each value means when you have a numeral in the place value, what, if you understand what that value means or what is the value of that numeral. Okay, that's very important. This is the foundation of math. So you do need to understand the value of each numeral, okay? So expanded form. So let's go ahead and multiply. So when we put in expanded form, we're just multiplying what's in each of the parentheses. Okay, so two times 1,000 would be 2,000. Plus five times 100 is 500. Plus four times 10 is 40. Plus one times one is one. Plus five times 0 0.1, it's 0 0.5. Plus three times 0 0.01 is 0 0.03. Okay, and if we added all of those up, and actually I wanna do that because I think this is another skill that, um, you know, I've seen some students struggle with, is when you are putting these, um, and we're gonna actually do this next week when we're adding our decimals. Um, so we have our 2,000, okay, then we have 500, then we have 40, we have one, okay, I'm gonna put decimals here just because I don't like to leave anything blank there and it helps me to line everything up correctly okay so that was our one now I have five and I could put a zero there because five tenths means the same thing as 50 okay and then I could put zero three okay so all I did was I changed it okay so that I changed all of this expanded form and I put it down this way I lined them up so that you can see how it comes out to be this numeral. Okay, so I have my three, I have my five. Okay, so, so far we're correct, 53.53. Okay, we have my one, is that right? Yep, we have four, bringing it down. We have five, and then we have our two. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three, 2,541 and 5,300, which is the same thing. But did you see how I did that? I put my expanded form and I just put it right here on just another sheet of paper. If you are struggling to see that, and I wanna say that I've seen a test question like that where um, they kind of trick you in the way that they have everything written out in word form and they want you to actually make this step to see if it does add correctly to the numeral that you're looking for. So that's just another way to check and make sure that you didn't miss something, okay? Now for our word form. And again, I added this resource for you to use on the practice part, uh, the practice it part, okay, for you to use. And I would actually uh, print this out if you could and use this in your math interactive notebook um, and always are, have it in your student planner for you to always know how to spell your words or your numerals, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we have 2,000. So I'm gonna put 2,000, 541, so 541. And remember our decimal point means and, and 53, 53. And what's the last name there? What does the three end up at? In the hundreds. So 53 hun 
dritz. Okay, and that's our word form, 2,541 and 53 hundredths. Okay, so I hope this helped you to recap of um, fourth grade math on place value. Um, if you need to look at the video again, if you wanna use your concrete models, I just want you to be, or even you know, all your, all your teachers want you to be successful and making sure that you're grasping these foundations. It'll be so much easier for you as you continue on your educational path, and especially for fifth grade. All right, boys and girls. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna be working on your practice it. Okay, so I have that linked. Um, I have all the resources on each of those star tabs for you to use if you choose to use them. You don't have to, you can always use a piece of paper and make your own, um, you guys are so creative. Y'all can make your own digits of however way that you wanna do. You wanna play teacher at, with your siblings. You know, you make it work however you want to do. But if, um, just practice, okay? Don't use, use this time and practice your skills so that you can be more confident um, in your, your teaks, okay, and what you're going to be also adding on to for next year in fifth grade. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Adios.